This is the story of civil society building power to win change. Founded in 2013, we are a non-partisan organization of member faith, education, trade union, enterprise and community institutions. We do not support any political party, but we take voting and democracy seriously. We are citizens from diverse communities acting together for the common good. Our mission is to build the capacity of people to act on what matters to their families and institutions through community organizing and in the process develop leaders. In 2014, we persuaded NHS commissioners to ensure 16 and 17 year olds for the first time were given access to specialist mental health services. The answer to both of your questions is yes. In our neighborhoods, our schools persuaded shops and businesses near them to act as safe havens to make local streets safer. Hey, sir, can you help me? That's brilliant. In 2015, we launched a national campaign to resettle Syrian refugees from UN camps, persuading Birmingham City Council to welcome 50 people, and congratulated employers in the region for paying the real living wage. In 2016, we secured timely housing surgeries in our member primary schools. Birmingham City Council pledged to resettle a further 500 Syrian refugees. The Police Commissioner and the West Midlands Fire Service became living wage employers. In 2017, we held our region's largest ever civil society assembly when 968 people set out priorities for a relationship with our first ever regional mayor. In 2018, we celebrated news of the Commonwealth Games coming to our region, launching a set of citizens' guarantees. So those in charge ensure the Games directly benefit local communities. We also welcomed the first refugee family resettled through community sponsorship in our region. In 2019, we ran our most extensive listening campaign, going deeper on the stories and issues facing our membership while stepping up our leadership training. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic struck with the tragedy of over 10,000 people in our region losing their lives to the virus. We never imagined we'd be community organizing to stop people dying. As we saw the rise of hate crime and fake news, keeping communities informed of the facts, supporting families directly, and hosting vaccine hubs, which are some of the ways our members took action. In a nutshell, since 2013, through the habit of training leaders, taking public action, and building accountable relationships with those in power, we strive to make our families better off, communities safer, and the West Midlands a region of welcome. Focusing on the world as it is to achieve the world as it should be.